Hey guys, this is Sora here from TakeYard and today I'm back with another new ROM for the Redmi 3S or the 3S Prime and it is the Flyme OS for the Redmi 3S Prime. Well, uh, now uh, this ROM is uh, kind of a ROM that I want to recommend to everyone is, uh, because uh, not only there are a few apps which are written in Chinese, uh, there are a few things that uh, sometimes you know bothers a lot. Uh, first of all, the Volti connectivity. Uh, for my sim, it worked, uh, but uh, for a few uh, other Geo sims, it didn't work. So, and it's a heptic way uh, to enable the Volti. So, uh, not that uh, great, I would say. Now, guys, uh, the ROM itself is good. I would say but it gives good kind of accessibility. The uh, features are pretty decent. Now, Flyme OS, uh, it's actually a ported ROM and uh, it works fine on redmi 3s or the 3s prime the relevant links to download this rom will be in the description and yes no nougat no nougat as of now it still runs on marshmallow now uh, system update i tried to open that app but it didn't work actually the system update the whole thing doesn't open uh, you have to download it manually and then flash it and there are few pre-installed apps the rom is pre-rooted that's a good advantage i would say and uh, yeah, fingerprint and security, it does work. The fingerprint scanner accepts your fingerprint and works in that way. There is a display and brightness section. Few basic uh, options are given there. In case of personalizations, uh, there are not much, I would say. But uh, only basic things are there. And there are some Chinese language, Chinese fonts that I don't understand. If you understand, uh, why don't you let me know via the comment section below. I will be waiting for you there. And uh, over and all, uh, yes, uh, it's all in Chinese and I don't understand that. There are some options of downloading fonts from online. So you have to log into your Meizu account or something like that. I haven't tried that because I don't want to create a Meizu account. Now, uh, there is an option of display network speed, same as in Xiaomi. Um, one thing I would love to mention is that uh, just, uh, just because I'm saying it, Geo, I mean, VoLTE works uh, sometimes with your SIM, sometimes it doesn't work. And there is uh, the option of uh, keeping your network mode. Just don't, uh, you know, take on auto, 2G or 3G, just keep it in that way. Try to uh, change the APN multiple times and then try to reboot your phones multiple times. Go to the airplane mode multiple times. I hope your Geo will be activated. I mean, the VoLTE will be activated. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it does not. So it entirely depends on your luck. Now, uh, there is the Mizu account feature and uh, I'm not a very big fan of doing that. So I didn't do that, like I said earlier. Uh, our, uh, every other features, I mean, like uh, the Bluetooth connectivity, all the things work well. I tried my Airtel SIM that works well. Wi-Fi connection works well. I haven't tried NFC though, so I can't tell you about that. Now, I, VPN also works, but I didn't try that. So, and uh, you know what VPN does, but I personally prefer Hola uh, over any other VPN. Now, the app store is uh, good, I would say, but uh, do flash the uh, Open G apps, uh, the version Pico, then it will be good for you. I mean, Open G apps, ARM64, then uh, Pico edition for Marshmallow 6.0.1, and you're good to go. Now, uh, there are the antidote benchmarking scores. I haven't played any games. I do have some, uh, you know, concern regarding the stability of the ROM. The antidote benchmarking scores are a bit less than the average. The average is around 42,000 and it is at 38,000. One more big thing is that uh, when I put the uh, any object in the camera app, the camera app is uh, kind of, you know, squeezes the whole image, but the output is decent. I mean, the output came, came out to be very good, I would say. I'm very happy with the output, but the camera app actually, you know, squeezes the whole image. Um, so uh, better use any third party camera app, maybe, uh, you know, camera MX cam or camera 360, whatever you prefer. And there are some selfie cameras as well. So uh, the one only uh, drawback is that the camera app squeezes the whole image. But in the case of output, while you're watching the image in the gallery app, it is, you know, it is decent, I would say. Uh, if I just talk about the price tags at which the Redmi 3S or the 3S Prime arrives in India. So, uh, yes, that's the bug. And in case of the video mode, that squeeze uh, the whole thing up is not there. And uh, one thing, uh, like I've seen in this uh, OS actually, is that 
the whole image never gets zoomed in like in the case of Redmi Note 4 while shooting video the image gets a bit more zoomed in that crop thing that crop factor isn't in here so yeah that's uh, that the video crop isn't in here and that's something I really love anyways uh, over and all the camera of the whole ROM I mean is good the camera app sometimes you know is buggy but the output is decent I would say it's better than any other camera I have ever used for 3s now uh, my 4G is not working I'm, I put my geo sim in there it is not working like I said it's an hit or miss issue for hit or miss kind of a thing for a lot of people and you can't uninstall the pre-install apps uh, they are like a bloatware you know there anyways this is all for today guys like this video if you want dislike if you don't like it for it uh, I mean subscribe to our channel for other videos like this will be in the cards and in the description stay th till then stay awesome stay subscribed bye bye now